What's going on guys, BSS right here, and today I want to bring you guys another build video that I used in the last hand PvP. And this time around we had the Banshee Predator build. Uh, this build's nice, it has a lot of work that can be done to it, uh, but it does do pretty good uh, in the gameplay itself. Uh, so let's jump right into it. For starters, we had the Banshee Shadow Armor, main stat with firearms, rolled uh, health into it, and as well as I used two stamina mods uh, with health on them. For the mask, we have a Predator's Mark mask, uh, main statted firearms as well, with crit chance rolled into it, and a stamina mod as well, with health. Uh, for the knee pads, um, breaking the trend here, we have stamina main statted with health rolled into it, uh, but I'm using a firearms um, health mod to compensate for that with a self heal. Uh, for the backpack, we have a Predator's Mark backpack, main statted firearms with 8% crit damage and 16% burn resistance and using a firearms health mod for this and two self-heal mods. For the gloves we have a main stat stamina uh, banshee shadow gloves with 1168 assault rifle damage, 6% crit chance, and 16% crit damage. And for the, um, the holster we have a Predator's Mark holster with rolled health and a self-heal mod for that as well. Like I said, the build does really well. It has, I want to say it does like a flat damage because uh, it's different than having like the skull gloves with a bullfrog or something like that giving that uh, damage boost. I really like how this build performs. Uh, the downside to it, it does lose a lot to the one shot seeker mine, but then again, if you're not running exotic damage resilience, you fall to that as well. And for the guns, I have an LVO that I bought in the Wolf's Den. Uh, safe house this week it has it's before rolling it has fierce unforgiving and destructive but i rolled responsive on it and for the mods i'm using a uh, loud vent break with 19 percent crit damage three percent crit chance five and a half percent headshot damage for the hand stop we have 29 percent reload four percent crit damage and two and a half percent stability for the extended mag we have 11750 magazine size 4% crit damage and 6% rate of fire. And for the, the scope, we have a 5.52 hollow sight that has 6.5% crit chance, 4% crit damage, and 5.5% headshot damage. And for my secondary weapon, I use a tactical AUG. It has brutal, deadly, and unforgiving on it. And let's jump into that. For the vent break on this, I have 17% crit damage, 6% headshot damage, and 3% crit chance. For the small grip, it's got 19% head. Uh, critical hit damage, 2.5% stability, and 4.5% reload speed. For the extended mag, I have 110% magazine size, 2.5% crit chance, and 5.8% rate of fire. And for the scope, we have a pro red dot sight with 17% crit damage, 3% uh, crit chance, and 6% headshot damage. So, tell me what you guys think about the build. Leave a comment below, as well as like the video and subscribe to my channel. As always, this has been Beast Ishtar. And I'll see you in the next one.